everyone, I am Dr. J. Glory, Associate Professor of Physics, Institute of Aeronautical Engineering. Today, I wish to tell about the optical fiber communication system. So, in this session, we are going to cover the topics communication system, uh, communication that is uh, what is communication, and then communication system, then what is uh, what are the electromagnetic waves, and then how the electromagnetic waves are formed, then uh, we are going to see the range of frequencies which are used in the communication. Then optical fiber communication system. In this optical fiber communication system, what are the parts? And then uh, we are going to see the block diagram of the uh, optical fiber communication system. Then the references. Uh, what are the textbooks have been referred for this topic? What is communication? So, the transfer of information from one point to other point is defined as communication. So, the information is transferring from one point that is source point to the destination point. So, uh, it is defined as communication. So, the transfer of information from one point from source to destination is defined as communication. The transfer of data or information over a distance, it requires a communication system. So, the communication system, in this communication system, the formation is made possible by modulating or superimposing the information onto an electromagnetic wave. That is, acts as carrier for the information signal. Okay. So, the information is made possible by modulating information onto an electromagnetic waves. So, this modulated carrier wave is then transmitted to the required destination. So, the modulated carrier wave, the modulated carrier wave is transmitted to the required destination where it is received and the original information signal is obtained by the demodulation. After demodulating, we can get the original signal. So, here the modulated carrier wave from transmitting to the required destination. So, the modulated carrier wave transmitted to the required destination. After demodulating, we can get the original information signal. And what are electromagnetic waves? So, electromagnetic waves were first postulated by the James Clerk Maxwell and then Henrich Hertz. The electromagnetic waves are created by the vibration of electric and magnetic field. So, the uh, electromagnetic waves are generated by the vibration of electric and magnetic field. So, these waves are called as electromagnetic waves. Formation of electromagnetics, electromagnetic waves. So, how the electromagnetic waves are formed? So, here uh, an electric field is produced by a charged particle. An electric field is produced by a charged particle. A force is exerted by these electric fields on other charged particles. Then, positive charges, positive charges accelerate towards a field and negative charges accelerate opposite to the field direction. So, when an electric field is produced by a charged particle, a force is exerted by the electric fields on other charged particles. So, that positive charges are accelerate towards the field and negative charges accelerated to the opposite to the field direction. So, the magnetic field is produced by a moving charged particle. So, a force is exerted by this field on the moving charged particles. The force on these charges is always perpendicular to the direction of their velocity. The force on these charges always perpendicular to the direction of the velocity. The magnetic field is produced by a moving charged particle. The magnetic field is 
produced by a moving charged particle. A force is exerted by this field on the moving charged particles. The force on these charges, what we say, is perpendicular to the direction of their velocities. The force on these charges is always acting perpendicular to the direction of their velocities. So here we can see that electromagnetic waves, how they are producing. So electric field oscillation and then here magnetic field oscillations. Both are perpendicular to each other. There is a electromagnetic wave propagating. So vibration of electric and magnetic field. That's why here the vibration of electric field and magnetic field, the electromagnetic waves are generated and propagated in this direction. What is the range of frequencies used in the communication system? So range of frequencies used in communication. Electromagnetic waves operate at radio frequencies, microwave frequencies and also possible with selected optical range of frequencies. The radio frequency spectrum includes the set of frequencies of the electromagnetic framework ranging from 30 Hz to 300 gigahertz. Microwave frequencies range between 10 power 9 Hz to the 1000 gigahertz with respect to uh, wavelengths of 30 to 0 0.03 centimeters. Within this spectral domain or a number of communication system applications that are important in both the military and civilian sectors. Next, coming to the optical fiber communication system. So, optical fiber communication system mainly consists of three parts. So, transmitter, optical fiber and then receiver. So, optical fiber communication system mainly consists of three parts, transmitter, optical fiber and then receiver. The transmitter includes, the transmitter includes modulator, encoder, light source, drive circuit and couplers. The receiver includes amplifier and decoder. So binary electrical signal and light decoder. The receiver includes amplifier and decoder, binary, a binary electrical signal and light decoder. This is the, this is the block diagram of optical fiber communication system. Here you can see that uh, this is the transmitter, this is the receiver and here we are using the optical fiber that is transmitting channel, okay, transmission channel. So this is the transmitter, transmitter, optical fiber and then receiver. These are the three main parts in the optical fiber communication system. So in this optical fiber communication system, the first one is transmitter. Transmitter. An electrical signal. An electric signal is applied to the optical transmitter. Electrical signal is applied to the optical transmitter. The optical transmitter consists of drive circuit, light source and fly lead, fiber fly lead. So when saying this, drive circuit, driver circuit drives the light source. Driver circuit drives the light source. Light source converts electrical signal to optical signal. When driver circuit drives the light source, this light source converts the electrical signal into the optical signal. Next, fiber 
lead uh, that is a fiber fly lead is used to connect the optical signal to optical fiber and uh, the next one is optical fiber that is transmission channel so the transmission channel in this transmission channel it consists of a cable that provides mechanical and environmental protection to the optical fibers contained inside the transmission channel consists of a cable that provide mechanical and environmental protection to the optical fibers contained inside the system each optical fiber acts as an individual channel so here the transmission channels or optical splice are the optical splice is used to join permanently to individual optical fibers optical splice is used to permanently join the two individual optical fibers optical connector is used for temporary non fixed joints between two individual optical fibers so optical splice is used to join permanently between the two individual optical fibers for temporary connection we use optical connector temporary non fixed joints between the two individual optical fibers next optical coupler or splitter provides signal to other devices optical coupler provides signal to other devices then repeater converts the optical signal into electrical signal using optical receiver and passes it to electronic circuit where it is reshaped and amplified as it gets attenuated and distorted with increasing distance because of scattering absorption and dispersion in wave guides and this signal is then again converted into optical signal by the optical transmitter the repeater converts the optical signal into electrical signal by using the optical receiver and then passes it to electronic circuit so in this electronic circuit the signal is reshaped and amplified because it gets distorted because it gets attenuated and distorted with increasing distance so that uh, there it is reshaped and amplified in the electronic circuit and then this signal is then again converted into optical signal by the optical transmitter in this optical fiber communication another last last part is the uh, receiver in this receiver optical signal is applied to the optical receiver it consists of photo detector amplifier and signal restorer optical signal is applied to the optical receiver it consists of photo detector amplifier and signal restorer here a photo detector photo detector converts the optical signal to electrical signal optical signal to electrical signal the photo detector converts signal restorer and amplifiers are used to improve the signal to noise ratio of the signal 
as there are chances of noise to be introduced in the signal due to the use of photo detector. Signal restorer and amplifiers are used to improve the signal to noise ratio of the signal because here we are using the photo detector because of usage uh, usage of a photo detector there is chances to noise so that we are using signal restorer and then amplifiers to improve the signal from the noise so when uh, seeing this uh, black diagram so the main part and the three main parts are transmitter optical or uh, fiber optics that is uh, optical fiber that or else uh, we can say it as transmission channel and then a uh, receiver okay so in this uh, a transmitter we have drive circuit and then light source so this uh, drive circuits drives the light source light source converts the light source converts converts electrical signal to optical signal as we are getting as we are giving the input signal as electric signal so here when we are giving input signal input uh, electrical input signal it goes to the drive circuit so this drive circuit drives the light source so light source converts electrical signal into optical signal so and then it is passed through the optical fiber that is there is a optical connector optical spicer and then optical coupler or beam we are using then it is going to pass to the regenerator here the optical uh, here the optical signal because at the place of light source the electrical signal is converted into optical signal so that the signal is optical signal is passing through the optical fiber and then it is received by the optical receiver so here there is uh, electronics so in this electronics it has been converted into electrical signal and then it converted into uh mean amplified because of uh, uh, passing from the long distance or a period of time there may be signal loss so that uh, here it increases the signal and then it restores remodified the signal then converts into optical signal and there is a optical transmitter so by the optical transmitter the optical signal passes to optical ampli amplifier and then through the optical uh, mean uh, photo detector through the photo detector through the photo detector which are uh, in the receiver it is uh, used to convert optical signal to electrical signal and then by using the amplifiers and restorers the signal may be restored and converted into optical signal converted into electrical signal so that like this we are getting the information through the optical fiber communication system so the references uh, used in this uh, topic is uh, engineering physics one by uh, k tyagarajan megrail education india private limited new delhi then a textbook of engineering physics m n avadanilu p g kshir sagar s chandan company publications new delhi 
and if engineering physics uh, written by Dr. M. R. Mugam and Radha Publications, Chennai. Then engineering physics by P. K. Paranisamy, fourth edition, Scientific Publications, India Private Limited, Chennai. So these are the references verified for this topic of optical fiber communication system. So we shall meet um, in the next session with the topic of application of lasers. Thank you. Like, share and subscribe. Hit the bell icon for more updates.